Hello friends, welcome back to Multi Question World. Today we are going to discuss the continuation of the previous video. You can watch the previous videos from playlist and if you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe. Question number 21. Most important abnormal crystal present in stool. Option A triple phosphate, option B charcoal laden crystals, option C calcium carbonate, option D cholesterol. The right answer is option B, charcoal laden crystals. The most important abnormal crystal present in stool is charcoal laden crystals. Next question, synovial fluid is examined in the case of option A, arthritis, option B, gout, option C, rheumatic fever, option D, all the above. The right answer is option D, all the above. All the following conditions, synovial fluid is examined. In arthritis, gout and rheumatic fever, synovial fluid is examined. Question number 23. Franken Duke test is done on option A, synovial fluid, option B, semen, option C, CSF, option D, sputum. Franken Duke test is done on which of these samples? The right answer is option B, semen. For sperm agglutinating antibodies, Franken Duke test is done. Question number 24. Synovial fluid contains option A, citric acid, option B, ascorbic acid, option C, Hyaluronic acid, option D, deoxyribonucleic acid. The right answer is option C, hyaluronic acid. Synovial fluid contains hyaluronic acid. Question number 25. Fungus not seen in sputum. Option A, aspergillus. Option B, Pencilium, option C, actinomyces, option D, none of the above. The right answer is option D, none of the above because aspergillus, pencilium and actinomyces can be seen in sputum. Question number 26. Contaminated urine with bacteria may give pungent smell due to the formation of option A urea, option B uric acid, option C ammonia, option D nitrogen. The right answer is option C ammonia. Contaminated urine with bacteria may give pungent smell due to the formation of ammonia. So the right answer is option C. Next question, sputum can be collected by which of the following methods? Option A, nasopharyngeal swab. Option B, cuff swab. Option C, cuff plate. Option D, all of the above. Sputum can be collected by which of the following methods? The right answer is option D, all of the above. All these methods can be used for collection of sputum. Question number 28. Drugs that may cause false positive test for occult blood. Option A. Reducing agents. Option B. Oxidizing agents. Option C. Chelating agents. Option D. All the above. Which of these agents may cause false positive test for occult blood? The right answer is option B. Oxidizing agents. Oxidizing agents may cause false positive test for occult blood. Question number 29. Discocyte is otherwise called option A. Elliptocyte, option B. Spherocyte, option C. Erythrocyte, option D. Thrombocyte. The right answer is option C. 
erythrocyte discocyte is otherwise called as erythrocyte or other name of erythrocyte that is normal rbc is discocyte question number 30 ideal length of a tunicate option a 1 meter option b 30 to 40 centimeters option c 10 centimeters option d 100 centimeters ideal length of a tunicate the right answer is option B, 30 to 40 centimeters. Ideal length of a tunicate is 30 to 40 centimeters. Question number 31. Approximate size of a blood drop used for thin smear preparation. Option A, 5 millimeter in diameter. Option B, 5 centimeter in diameter. Option C, 2 centimeters in diameter. And option D, 2 millimeter in diameter. The right answer is option D, 2 millimeter in diameter. Approximate size of a blood drop used for the preparation of thin smear is 2 millimeters. Question number 32. What do you mean by chatters? Option A, type of RBC. Option B, a type of centrifuge. Option C, Abnormal cell, option D, uneven layers of cells. What do you mean by the term chatters? The right answer is option D, uneven layers of cells. When we are preparing a blood smear, uneven layers of cells will call as chatters. Question number 33. A thick blood film must be spread to A, that means the diameter of a thick blood film. Options. Option A, 1.5 cm square. Option B, 6 cm square. Option C, 3 to 4 cm square. And option D, 1.5 mm square. The right answer is option A, 1.5 cm square. A thick blood film must be spread to 1.5 cm square. Question number 34. Holy leaf cells are associated with Option A. Sickle cells Option B. Stomatocytes Option C. Schistocytes Option D. Spherocytes Holy leaf cells are associated with which of the following cells? The right answer is Option A. Sickle cells Sickle cells is otherwise called as holy leaf cells. Question number 35. Siderocytes can be demonstrated by Option A. Prussian blue staining Option B. Van Giesen staining Option C. Vonkosa staining Option D. Leishman staining Siderocytes can be demonstrated by which of the following methods? The right answer is Option A. Prussian blue staining Siderocytes can be demonstrated by Prussian blue staining Today we are winding up. You can watch the previous videos from playlist and if you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe the channel and don't forget to press bell button and turn on notifications for all. Thank you.